Hello everybody, we are here in Skopje, Macedonia, and this is a statue of Philip, the King, King Philip, Philip the Great, the father of Alexander the Great. And down below of the Great Fountain is Alexander's parents with little Alexander in the middle, who will someday become the conqueror of the known world. But where did Alexander come from? Is the city of Skopje the birthplace of Alexander? And is this the rightful city to honor Alexander's namesake? Well, uh, this is a very contentious issue. And by the way, we are here in the city of Skopje in, this, in the country of North Macedonia. Not many people even know about this country. Definitely nobody I've asked back in the States have ever heard of this place. I was first here about four years ago. And I really love the city. It's cheap and people are great. And all these stat many of these statues are, are recently built and very beautiful looking. And we're going to walk across one of the main bridges and go toward the main monument of Alexander. We have here a monument to, I guess, mothers and maidens and fertility and stuff like that. And uh, to the left is the Museum of Macedonia. And it's a major source of national pride about the origins of Alexander and the history of the Macedonians. But this is in heated contention with the Greeks, who have even fought tooth and nail to prevent this little country from being named Macedonia. And they finally, just last year, came to an agreement to call this city North Macedonia from its old name, the former Yugoslavian Republic of Macedonia, which was a very ugly sounding name. So I'm glad they came to an agreement and gave it a, a name that doesn't sound so ugly. But who are the Macedonians? Is it the Greeks or is it the, well, Macedonian Macedonians? So. Uh, first thing to keep in mind is that these are different populations. The Greeks have olive skin and dark hair, whereas Slavic people in Balkan countries often have kind of blonde hair, sometimes even blue eyes or green eyes. And if you look at the depictions of Alexander and such, you will notice that they look Slavic. However, I'm not going to use that as evidence to say that Alexander precisely looked, at, looked like that. I mean, just look at depictions of Jesus when it needs to fit a particular national narrative, you'll see Jesus with blonde hair and blue eyes. So that doesn't really mean anything. I need a real historian to be able to comment. Now, modern day, that is to say, historical Macedonia was in uh, what we guess we would say Northern Greece. The birthplace of Alexander the Great is a city called Pella, Greece. And Pella is, Pella is today ruins. So it's no longer a city. And it's not very far from Skopje. In fact, I think it's only a couple hundred or a few kilometers away. In kind of the Thracian region close to the Turkish border is the ruins of Pella, where Alexander basically came from these suburbs above Athens. No, not really suburbs, but kind of like this backwater country, right, you know, perched right above one of the, you know, the, the great the great countries of the world, and then this guy came out of nowhere and conquered everybody, creating the, you know, all, all the mythology behind it, that somebody could basically, like the, the, the equivalent being, uh, I come from the, from the city of Tucson, and, sorry, <laughs> I come from the city of Tucson, and we have, a, we have like a little uh, town above Tucson called Marana. It'd be like Marana coming down and invading Tucson. So there's a lot of mythology behind that, inspires our imaginations, but, um, I think we could argue that the Kingdom of Macedon back then was definitely incorporating what is today the country of North Macedonia. Pella is no longer a, a city, it's ruins. And an argument could be made that the spirit of Pella maybe remains in the city of Macedonia because of its geographical distance and the fact that it has preserved the spirit of Alexander. Now, after the time of Alexander, or rather during the time of Alexander, this city was mostly just Macedonian settlements. Afterwards, about 2,000 years ago, this was a Roman city called Scupi. Now, the city of Scupi was cosmopolitan, just like this city is today. So Scupi had various ethnic groups, Arabic people, local Thracian people, different ethnicities from around the Roman Empire 
and from then on it eventually became part of the Holy Roman Empire and lasted all the way until the uh, 1600s when it was conquered by the Ottomans around the fall of the Holy Roman Empire. But if you go back to the time of Scoopy, you know, we can say that even, you know, back then, the time of the Macedonians was ancient history, even 2,000 years ago. Although we can say, like if you check out the archaeological museum over here, the uh, settlements in Skopje date, you know, far before the time of Scoopy, and it was definitely a Macedonian area, complete with Macedonian relics and swords and urns and, and uh, vases and things of that nature. But, of course, Alexander did not come from this city or from necessarily this area, but we can argue it is still his homeland. The big question comes down to whose birthright is it? Is it uh, the Greeks or is it Slavic people? I'll let you guys comment with what you find in the comments down below. Um, but you'll definitely get different versions depending on who you ask. And it is kind of silly with all the fighting. Um, but if you ask the Greeks, Macedonia ends around Thessaloniki, not this place. Nonetheless, we can all say the spirit continues in this city.